Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to a quick guide for Manual with Clutch on Forza Horizon 3. So this is quite an easy technique that I use to use Manual with Clutch on the game, which will make you quite a lot quicker. So let's go through the options menu. So in order to change this setting, go to settings from the home tab on the pause menu, go to difficulty, then go down to Manual with Clutch. Now, uh, this is on the shifting menu, so you can Choose automatic, manual, or manual with clutch. So for those of you who don't know, who are new to the game, automatic obviously changes gears for you. Manual, you have to do it yourself. Manual with clutch, you have to do it yourself with the clutch button as well. Now the main benefit of using manual with clutch is simply that it makes you quicker. The car will change gear a lot faster. So if you are alongside someone who isn't using manual with clutch, you'll most likely accelerate past them it does give you quite a nice benefit especially in the slower cars you'll notice more of a difference this is something that's definitely worth doing if you're going to be playing forza for a long time it's definitely something that you might want to learn along with traction control and stability control and abs off this is something that is crucial to being one of the fastest players in the game now the control settings are very important as well so we use default layout one they go down to switch e-brake and clutch and I turn that to on so normally it's off I turn it to on now as you can see on the right hand side clutch is a and then we have shift down as X and shift up as B now this is manual with clutch so we have to use the clutch and the gear up button at the same time or the clutch and the shift down button at the same time so you're basically pressing a and B at the same time to go up a gear and you're pressing X and A at the same time to go down. There's two methods really to use this. So you can swipe your finger across or you can just push your finger like that. You can see that my uh, finger or my thumb is fat enough to cover A and B so I can just press both at the same time. Same applies for A and X. So I've come to this long highway in the center of the map. So you've got a long straight road which makes it easy to practice. So to pull away, all you do, you just press the throttle as you normally would. Some cars will stall though if you do that. So in that instance, you'll have to press hold down A, build up the revs, and then let go of clutch. And then the car will pull away nicely. Some cars do that, some cars don't. Most of the cars won't be doing that though, so you'll be okay just to mash the throttle away from the line. So as we get towards the top of the gear, so you can see it's bouncing off the limiter there. All you do, get your finger across A and B, and just press both like that. It is actually very simple and then to go up to the next gear do the same again and then you can do the swiping method if you like which is like this that works just as fine as well let's go up to the ne uh, next gear so gear 5 and you hear that the car is struggling to rev because we've shifted fairly early there and we're reaching top speed in the car then in order to slow down and shift down we're pressing A and X at the same time so we're going to hold down the left trigger to brake and then press A and X a couple of times together like this so that is the basic method is fairly simple and it just requires timing pretty much so the main thing that I use for timing is the sound and you can go by the sound so if we re if we change gear too early like there you can hear that the car bogs down in the next gear so that it produces a very low tone we'll do that again so go down into first gear and we're going to change up gear very early so you can hear that it's gone very low on the tone and obviously that has gone way too early so typically you're changing gear close to the red line that is a general rule it's not always the same for every car but if you're learning for the first time, changing it near the red line, which in this car is around 6,000 revs, then you can't really go too far wrong. Changing down gear is probably what people struggle with the most. I think changing up is fairly simple, but changing down is where a lot of people will struggle. So the thing that you want to do is just change roughly about half a second for each gear shift, like follows. That is a general rule of thumb. Now, of course, that's not going to work all the time in all the cars, but that will work in a lot of situations. If you shift down too quickly, you can produce engine damage, basically. So the car will rev up too highly. 
So you just want to make sure that you are changing down gear at a, uh, at a fairly average rate of about half a second per per change. That is a very rough estimate we need to do. So now we move on to a technique called rev matching, which is basically where you just blip the throttle every time you gear shift down. So you're pressing A and X and you're pressing the throttle as well at the same time like that. Let's give that a go. So that's a very basic way of doing it. But that technique isn't too important in this game. It doesn't play as much part as it did in the motorsport games, but it will just help to settle your car under braking, especially if you're off-road and your car's sliding all over the place. That might help. Just keep that car under control. So the main tips I'll give are to make sure you've got the right controller settings and then just to go up and down a long straight road, practicing going up gears like so. You don't need to let go of the throttle every time, but I like to do that sometimes. It's not actually too crucial, doesn't matter too much whether or not you do that. And then once you build up to speed, then go back down. Just practice going down a couple of gears as well. So manual of clutch is a very useful thing to be able to learn in this game. The technique isn't too difficult. If you have the right controller layout, you're basically pressing two buttons at the same time, which is effectively just pressing one button. You don't really have to think about pressing that second button, which makes it very easy. So the main benefits are extra speed down the straights and you'll have more credits when you uh, when you finish each race. So if you need more advice and tips, then by all means comment in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back to you, as will the community hopefully. And that is going to bring a close to this video. If you need more guides on anything else, please let me know and I'll try to make one. Subscribe for more like this, hit that like button if you did find this useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.